Leos, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes, here to give you mid-August 2020 reading, my darlings. This is for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, astronauts, pick a node. Doesn't matter to me, I love you all. Everything is pre-shuffled and upright. If it comes out reversed on a clarifier, I will read it as such. I do not read from the floor. Oracles are preset. I am using Dreams of Gaia as oracles for your reading. Listen, um, guys, first, thanks you in advance. Likes, shares, subscribes, comments, emails, love tokens, donations. Thank you, thank you, and thank you again, okay? I humbly and graciously thank you. Whew, your pre-shuffle energy, crazy, all right? When I was doing your pukas, I saw um, Six of Swords. So I said, okay, uh, Levo's uh, definitely moving away or moving towards uh, peace, tranquility, uh, love, you know, peace of mind. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Traditional with pre-shuffle when I'm coming into any sign's energy. And then all of a sudden, I felt like, somebody was hiding money. Okay. Uh, I felt like that was kind of weird because I didn't see how that tied to the six of swords. I'm looking at your oracles, guys. Somebody is doing something shady. Number one with money. Okay. I'm not sure if it's you or someone else. I will say that you are definitely involved in the middle of it. Okay. And it might be something that you know about, and you're trying to get away from the foolishness. Um, but it's just, it's affecting you. Okay. It's affecting you energetically. I will say that. Let's talk about the Pukas first. <clears throat> Full energy here. Leap of faith. Uh, taking a chance. Taking a risk. You know, leaving something behind. Uh, stepping out on the promise. Step, stepping out on uh, tomorrow. Okay. Definitely. A beautiful energy. Oh, oh, shoot. Maybe moving towards an empress. Libratorian energy here. Abundance. Uh, integrity. Um, intuition. Okay. Someone who has confidence and knows who they are and knows where they stand. Um, maybe this person uh, betrayed you in the past. Maybe you betrayed them. Uh, but there is a sense of some type of um, history here that's hurtful. OK, uh, but you're manifesting. All right. Manifesting what you don't know, manifesting what you don't see, almost as if you suspect something and you're trying to figure out what it is and get to the bottom of it. You understand what I'm saying with this moon energy with the magician? And it looks like the answer is coming. Divine is getting involved. The communication, the answers are coming in and you're going to handle it accordingly. Queen of Swords here or maybe this person will. OK, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy here. This person does and truth. This person deals in facts um, and uh, that's all they deal with. Okay. That's all they'll give and that's all they'll accept. Uh, meanwhile, there's a singular energy of this nine of pentacles. That's intuitive. I believe this is coming out as you. I'm telling you, Leo's, some of y'all, and I miss, this is not all of y'all. Okay. But some of y'all are, somebody's doing something uh, behind the scenes here. Okay. Uh, Nine of Pentacles energy is abundant. It's intuitive. And with the high priestess, this is a very intuitive person, a very intuitive person, a spiritually gifted. Okay. Um, Loving life, loving themselves, loving where they stand, enjoying, and they're holding on to something. Somebody is maybe hiding their gift, hiding their connection, friend, family member, uh, or holding back the uh, another connection from you, okay? Um, regardless, there's going to be a decision or something you don't want to deal with that has to be made, and it's going to be plain. It's going to be plain right in front of your face coming with this Ace of Swords, because that's clarity, uh, divine clarity, okay? Divine understanding. Um Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy here with this King of Pentacles and coming with the Hierophant. You know, this is a commitment energy. This is um, a loyal energy. This is a very strong um, uh, leadership energy as far as uh, priest, uh, bishop, um, hierarchy. Um, somebody, be, somebody might be going for their masters um, as far as education. Um but it looks like that's, you know, the wish fulfillment, the Piscean energy here with the star Aquarian energy. Also, uh, it looks whatever it is that you want, you know, you can have it. 
Number one, okay, it's you. It, it, it seems like you are good. All right, you might be a little broken inside, but on the outside, things seems to be working in your favor. You just can't do nothing about the past. It, you know, it, it's look, yeah, you can't do nothing about the past. It is what it is. Um, sometimes you have to walk away from a lot of emotion uh, or years that you put into something, you know, these cups hold blood, sweat, and tears, okay? Because it took work uh, trying to build uh, that 1111, trying to build that happy home, but it didn't work. But as soon as you took that step, you understand you got a ride, all right? You walked away and the taxi came. All right, with this chariot, cancer energy here, divine intervention that leads right to justice. Okay, Libra energy here, leading right to justice. All right, uh, when a chariot is in motion, it has no brakes. Okay, it doesn't stop until it reaches its destination, which for you is justice, which is might be which might be coming in the form of an offer of emotion or some type of apology. Uh, with this Knight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here, uh, but somebody wanted to work on it again. Somebody from your past that you've already had you know relations with, but they already hurt you. Nine of Wands here, uh, they've already deceived you. Seven of Swords here. Uh, they was moving too slow playing games with this uh, Knight of Pentacles. You know, that's my turtle with hemorrhoids energy. But there you go, baby. Strength will drive uh, ambition, determination, you know, holding on again to the promise, you know, holding on to the promise. This is too with this offer. All right. Now, it looks like it's an offer that you consider. You maybe contemplate a little bit with this Four of Swords. Is this real love with this King of, uh, Queen of Cups? And yes, it is. All right. The queen is loving, mothering, nurturing energy. Um, good foundation uh, with it uh, in abundance with this Ten of Pentacles. Yes, it is a real love. Yes, it is happiness. Yes, it is bliss. It may take for you to start over. It may be a younger person. Um, it's heavy Aries here um, with this emperor. Uh, it, it may be somebody that's a boss, but can be a also act a little immature at times. You, you understand what I'm saying? Almost as if this is a dual energy. I'm almost feeling Gemini here. Um, but passion, drive, focus, uh, determination, um, all of the above, all of the above. But you, hmm, you stall out because... <sighs> When that energy comes in, you might be in a place of healing. You might be in a place of um, trying to wait or, you know, be patient uh, because you want the truth. Mm. Almost as if like the love isn't the problem, the passion isn't the problem, but maybe, you know, the problem is this person's way of communication. Maybe they have a problem. Maybe they're a compulsive liar. You know what I mean? Um, or maybe they're just um, hurtful, you know, with the way they talk to you. Or you them, okay, with this King of Swords here. Either way, um, it, it makes somebody feel like they're, you know, left out in the cold because they don't want that. You know, they don't want that type of verbal abuse uh, in their life. Even though this person may be feeling like they're giving it as the truth, it's a hurtful truth. It's 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 a truth that with the intent to hurt. You understand what I'm saying? You can speak facts and do it in the form of trying to teach uh, or do it in the form of trying to explain or you can speak in the way to, with the intent to hurt. And the King of Swords has every intention on cutting you and watching you bleed. Make no mistake about that, okay? So there's a juggling, all right? There's a decision that needs to be made. Uh, but it looks like it's followed by a final call with this judgment here, all right? There's a final call. Um, hmm, the King of Wands, you know, fire energy, your energy. You might say, you know what? That's all right. Let it crumble and I'll I'll rebuild. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm very much capable of ca taking care of my kingdom on my own because the King of Wands is marriage material, but they don't mind uh, being single. Tear it down because I know my worth. I know my value. I know that uh, others uh, are, uh, I know that I'm sought after. Let's say it like that. I know that others see, you know, my worth and value. Okay. Uh, and this might be a time where you go within and, you know, just uh, balance yourself out, uh, trying to learn from the past so that you, you know, of course, don't make the same mistakes in the future. Uh, and that balance brings you, um, 
it looks like a beautiful change with this Wheel of Fortune. Um, could be a possible move. Yeah, it definitely could be a possible move. Hmm. Moving to another state is what I'm hearing. Just to have a whole new perspective on things. Yes, right into abundance. Beautiful energy here. Piscean energy with the hangman, uh, Virgo Taurus Capricorn with the Ace of Pentacles. Uh, you know, this is the, just seeing the wonderful possibilities. And I love it because it takes us right back to where we started, you know, with this fool. It's, you know, it's out there. Okay. You know, it's out there. And even though you might have connections and situations in between that leap of faith coming to this ace of pentacles because you had to go through all these cards here you understand what i'm saying but you're doing the right thing moving in the right direction and i love it look where's behind it the ace of cups you know what that's emotional fulfillment let's stop right there because you know i could stay in these cards Ooh, all right let's talk about these oracles uh center energy healing 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 uh major arcana in this deck uh number 11 is the card um this talks to releasing releasing um ties releasing <sighs> resentment okay forgiveness um it talks about um just uh coming into yourself you understand what i'm saying coming into yourself purification, all right, and the effects of it, the emotional effect, the physical effect, the spiritual effects, you know, everything that comes with healing because it's a process, you understand, and that also has an effect, just like trials and tribulations leave a mark on you and they have an effect on you. Healing also does the same, and, and this is where you deal with those um, situations, okay? Crowning you six of uh, water, six of cups and uh, Rider weight tarot, beautiful energy, uh, energy of giving, uh, energy of love, uh, energy of caring. Um, definitely uh, an emotional energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here with the water, of course. Um, this is also sympathy. Okay, this is also compassion. This is also understanding. All right. Um, maybe of yourself while you're healing or maybe of um another maybe you know from from the damage that was done okay because there is damage that that's in a path let let's say like after the tornado stops you can see the path of destruction you understand uh be it in your heart or in someone else's okay now coming from two cards past energy queen of water came out for you and abundance okay now queen of water just as the queen of cups is loving mothering nurturing energy loyal energy okay this is unconditional love cancer pisces scorpio here uh abundance major arcana in this deck card number 15 um abundance of life having everything just being in a place where you're more than satisfied you know uh, you're not worried about whether or not you hit the light switch and will it come on okay uh whether you write a check will it will it go through you know uh when you open your refrigerator it, it, will you have options you understand what i'm saying abundance all of those things the love of the abundance hmm that's where I'm worried. You understand what I'm saying? Because it's coming with this queen of uh, water. Now, almost as if like the love of money got you into a situation that didn't turn out well, that caused you to go into this period of healing. You understand? The period of healing. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me get my other phone. Okay. Um, the period of healing... Um, it's leading into the seven of fire. Now, the seven of fire is showing uh, in the reverse. Now, in the upright, you, this would be uh, sign. I'm sorry, uh, the same thing. Well, yeah, signs, um, healing, intuition, you know, seeking answers, you know, things like that. Okay. Um, manifestation uh energy or uh, fire energy is definitely yours but understand that this is coming in the reverse okay um so 
this is not trusting your intuition, not seeing the signs, not uh, receiving the download of the answers of the questions that you're putting out into the universe. You understand what I'm saying? Almost as if uh, this healing process extends into your future energy. That's all that I see. I don't see this as a negative. I just see that in the immediate future for this reading, you're still going to be healing. You understand? And we're doing mid-August. Maybe by uh, the end of the month, you'll move out of this energy into your next cycle. As of right now, it seems like that's what the process is. Okay? Now, what's undermining the process and probably why it's taken so long, it's because this I've never seen before. Three cards came out for undermining you. Wisdom, thought, and destiny. Powerful, powerful, powerful. All three of these are major arcana. Guys, that means that this, this is a heavy, heavy energy. That means that um, it's detrimental um, right now to uh, what's affecting you. OK, now you, of course, wisdom would speak to knowledge. It would speak to the journey. It would speak to the past. OK, and the understanding of it. OK, uh, thought uh, speaks to um, your thinking process, uh, how you handle things, how you look at things, how you see things, how you see uh, a solution coming, how you're going to work it out. You understand what I'm saying? Destiny, not only what God has in front of you, but it also speaks to uh, breaking habits, breaking chains, uh, changing um, a, a way of thinking, a way of knowing, a way of understanding, um, seeking also uh, knowledge, okay? Same thing with this thought. This is also seeking knowledge. This also speaks to uh, seeking, uh, I'm sorry, your uh, spiritual gifts, okay? If you're an intuitive, your spiritual gifts. Now, understand that all of these things are are undermining your process, undermining your healing process. That means it's slowing it down, okay? Now, that means that everything about you or someone else, they are giving their everything to slow down your process, period. Physically, mentally, and spiritually. Okay, physically, mentally, spiritually. Either you're a master at something and your, your experience is working against you or someone else is really giving everything that they've got to slow down your healing process. You understand what I'm saying? Through it all, understand that you have energy that you're pulling from. Integrity. All right? Integrity. Integrity speaks to your honesty, your honor, your character, your morals, your values, how you were raised, period. Okay? Sacred Rebels pulled seeing the true you. That's that integrity. But behind naked. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm saying that because, you know, with sometimes we're... I'm not saying wearing a mask. You have to deal with life, okay? And dealing with different situations requires different costumes to play different characters, period. All right? Let's just be grown, okay? But underneath it all... OK, the true you has integrity, has morals, has values. You know, you know what's right and what's wrong, has wisdom and courage. You know what's right and what's wrong. You are a giving, loving person and you're capable of forgiveness. OK, you're capable of this healing and you know that because you feel it now. Why is it taking so long? I don't know. We're going to find out, okay? We're going to find out right now. Because I don't like it. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's put some tarot down. Get some clarity. Clarify healing for Leo's. Leo energy, please. Clarify healing for Leo's. 
Leo energy, please. Clarify healing. Whoa. You flipped, didn't you? You did. I saw it. It was this one. Six of Cups reverse. This might be an old connection. And it's in the reverse. Is this upright? No, it's not. But I got to take it because it's down. Um, this might be a, a person that, uh, an energy that you've had for a long time. Okay, something that's been around for some time. You see the process of the boy and the puppy and then um, the older gentleman with uh, the full-grown dog here. Uh, somebody from your past maybe has broken the connection, broken the tie. Tell me more. Or you feel like you, you know, there's a separation. Three of Pentacles reverse. No longer wanting to work on this. No longer wanted to give it any more effort. No longer wanting to come together. Tell me more. Tell me more. Six of Cups with thank you. Why is everything coming? Look at this. Four of, uh, what is this? Four of Wands reverse. The family has come apart. The home is falling apart. Uh, you're trying to heal, but it seems like everything is just falling apart. Why? Tell me about the six of water. What is this? Strength reverse. That's you. You know, strength reverse speaks to fear, guys. Fear of uh, accepting an apology, fear of love, fear of embracing love, fear of loving. With that uh, six of water, fear of losing the connection. Tell me more. Fear of the commitment, fear of the proposal. Knight of Swords reverse. Good Lord. And I turned the y'all saw me turn this deck around. Everything is upright. Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Complete clarity with the Nine of Swords reverse. You know, you know. <sighs> communication is a problem. Or there might be none at all. But like I said, there's a, a loss of the uh, communication. There's a loss of the connection. Family fell apart. Home fell apart. And, you know, it's it's a scary world out here. Okay? But clarity is at the bottom of the deck. So whatever what you didn't know, you know now. Whatever you need to know, you know now. Okay? Queen of Water, Abundance, Past Energy. Tell me more. Thank you. The world. Mmm. Whatever this financial situation was in the past, you thought it was going to set you straight. Like you were going to be set for life. Maybe a connection to a water sign. Um, but you thought that this was it. You know, cycle complete. I can begin anew. All right. It could have been that move where you were, you know, thinking about breaking up the house or... You thought this move was going to just heal everything. Eight of Wands reverse. Yeah, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. Why is this energy undermined by wisdom, thought, and destiny? Clarify, please. Why is this, thank you, the fool? Aquarius. Uh, Piscean energy. <sighs> Lack of faith. Yep. Not submitting to your destiny. Or somebody being a fool, like plain and simple. Tell me more. 
tell me more. There's so many different things here, guys. King of Cups. More water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. You might have water in your chart or connecting to a water sign. But, you know... Someone... Somebody's energy here took a chance on love. That's really the bottom line. Maybe going against everything they know was was wrong. Or, you know, like they knew it wasn't going to work. Maybe this person had some type of, was into some type of shady stuff. And even though they still felt this love, they didn't, you know, express it properly. I tell you that. Tell me about the King of Cups and the Fool. The Wheel. Huh. Every, it, it, everything that's great, it seems like it's in, it's in the way. Almost as if, like, this was a figment of your imagination. Does that make sense? Like in your mind, this relationship played out beautifully. But in reality, it's just a cluster. And you know what comes behind that. You understand what I'm saying? Where is this leading to? Tell me about the seven of fire reverse. Seven of fire reverse for the immediate future. For Leo. Seven of fire reverse for the immediate future. For Leo. Thank you. Ten of Wands. Yep. I told you. This healing process is going to take time. Ten of Wands speaks to a burden. But the, it's still a uh, and a hangman. It's going to give you a whole new perspective on yourself. You know, on everything. Tell me more. The Moon Reverse. Yeah, things will become clear. No longer hidden. You'll have full understanding, full knowledge. Thank you. Queen of Swords Reverse. And you're going to keep it to yourself. And you know what? It's for you. I'm okay with that. It's going to be for you. Judgment at the bottom of the deck. Absolutely. This process is probably the hardest I've ever seen you go through um, since I've been doing readings. Leos, um, I just want you to just be encouraged. Okay. Um, everything is happening in a grand design. I know we don't want to hear that. Um, but it's the truth. It, it really is the truth. Okay. Hold on to your integrity. Remember who you are. Okay. And know that love is still, uh, it still crowns you. You can still pull from that. You know, that, that forgiveness, that healing, that process, even though I feel like some of you have been done extremely wrong, like somebody stole from you or like almost like as if they took your hope, your dream, your desire, like it's just crazy what I'm feeling right now. You know, I've never ever seen this happen in the physical sense. This is more so a spiritual process normally, but this has happened physically. You understand what I'm saying? So, Leos, keep your head up, please. Please. All right. We're going to put some rebel on it and try to make this a little funny, but this shit ain't funny at all. Final messages for Leo. Whew. Thank you so much. Final messages for Leo. Leo, please. Leo energy. Final messages. Thank you so much. Leo, please. Thank you. Leo. Ooh. Uh oh. <laughs> All right. Last run. Fine. Thank you. Final messages. For Thank you. All right. Damn it. That's enough. Okay. That project, that person, that idea is waiting. That's right. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward, okay? Get after it. The world has your back. Keep moving forward. Get out of your head. Get out of your head. 
get into your heart. That speaks to that same energy crowning you, okay? The same energy with the six of water. Giving, loving, re receiving uh, love, giving love. You know, if you need to, get away. Seriously. If you can, you know. If your trip is on the internet, just looking at pictures of the beach. Just get away. Try to see some things, do some new things. If you can, talk to people, you know, that you don't know. Just have fun. Change the scenery because it's time to let go. It's time. Move on. Okay. F. Fear. And remember your strength was in reverse on top of that love. Don't be afraid. Okay. It will lie to your face. That's right. And didn't we just talk about giving and receiving? F and apologize to others if you need to or to yourself for even allowing yourself to get into the situation where your integrity, you had to be reminded of your integrity. You had to be reminding of who you re really are, reminded of who you really are. Yeah. All right. Seriously, just do it. Apologize to yourself. And if you need this, get it. If you need this, do it. Get a plate, go in the bathroom or whatever when everybody's asleep. If you a quiet place and scream and holler and get it out. Okay? Get it out. Your soul will thank you. That will be a, a part of your healing process. That is a spiritual cleanse. Okay? Guys. Whew. If this resonated, please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment. If it doesn't resonate, check your moon and rising signs. Please don't take this energy with you. This was an extremely important and heavy message for another fellow Leo, okay? It just wasn't for you. Remember that we are all perfectly imperfect, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.